Hello, everyone. Another story today at Cindy Harper Speaks. And we read a couple of days ago the teacher from the Black Lagoon. Then we read the gym teacher from the Black Lagoon. And guess what? Today, the principal from the Black Lagoon by Mike Thaler and pictures by Jared Lee. Ooh, so let's check out this principal from the Black Lagoon. It's the third day of school. I've been sent to the principal's office. What a bummer. I hear the principal, Mrs. Green, is a real monster. Kids go to her office and never come back. The waiting room is supposed to be filled with bones and skeletons. Be careful crossing the street, the principal. Doris Foodle was sent there for chewing gum. They say her skeleton still has a bubble in its mouth. I walk in, I take a seat. The rug is red. That's so the blood won't show. I hear she uses tall kids as coat racks. Look, she only has one leg. The short kid she feeds to her pet alligator. The fat one she uses as paperweights. The thin one she uses as bookmarks. I'm too young to be a bookmark. Then there's her 12-foot paddle. It's supposed to have poison spikes on it. If you're lucky, you can get put in the cages. She has them under her desk. Oh, there's her other foot. If you're really lucky, you get sent home in chains. But most kids she keeps for her experiments. Derek Bloom was sent here yesterday. They say he wound up with the head of a dog. They say Freddie Jones has the feet of a chicken. And Eric Porter, the hands of a hammer. Oh, the hands of a hamster. I thought a hammer. His hands don't look like a hammer. The hands of a hamster. Who is that little bitty hands? I'm too good looking to have the ears of a rabbit. All I did was snatch Mrs. Jones's wig. It's very quiet today. Usually they say there's a lot of screaming. Maybe she's in a good mood. mood. Even if I survive, this will affect my whole life. In the future, I'll be running for president. I'll be ahead in the polls. And then it will come out. I can see the headlines. Presidential candidate sent to principal's office. Shameful. Uh-oh, there's a shadow at the glass. Now I'm in the jaws of fate. The door slowly opens. There's a pretty woman standing there. She's a master of disguise. Come in, Hubie. I go in. She closes the door behind me. I look around. There's only the coat rack. It doesn't look like anyone I know. I look around for the alligator. There's only the turtle. It looks like little Randy Potts. It looks a little like Randy Potts. Now it says, Mrs. Green, are we having a little trouble in class? Well, says I, I was sweeping up the room and by accident, Mrs. Jones's wig got caught on the broom handle. Well, we'll have to apologize, won't we? Yes, we will. And the next time we'll have to be more careful. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Now run along. Is that all? Close the door. Boy, I was lucky. Those flowers on her desk were probably poisonous. 
just one whiff and you would turn purple and die. Fortunately, I held my breath. I went into her cave and I returned without the ears of a rabbit. I'll have to sweep her office sometime and see if she wears a wig. All right, that was the principal from the Black Lagoon. Well, isn't it interesting that the teacher, the gym teacher and the principal, they're all, all of their last names were green. Hmm. I don't know who's making up all these stories about the scary things about these individuals, but, oh, well. If you like the principle from the Black Lagoon, please press like at the end, and I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks for another story. Bye for now, and thanks for tuning in.